Hurricane Laura is rapidly strengthening as it heads straight for the Gulf Coast. The National Hurricane Center is warning of life-threatening storm surge in some areas and winds over 100 miles per hour. In Galveston, people living in flood-prone neighborhoods are being told to evacuate, but some are choosing to ride it out. This one's going to be scarier knowing that it's supposed to be stronger and you know, still unpredictable. It's just scary to leave your stuff behind. The storm is already responsible for more than a dozen deaths in Haiti and the Dominican Republic. Weather Chief Bill Taylor joins us. And Bill, do you think Laura could become a Category 5 before landfall? You know, that that is the recent talk. I mean, this storm has a little bit of room left. It's about 150 miles off the coast, so we still could see enough room for it to become a Category 5. The damage is going to be catastrophic in southwest Louisiana. This is a very dangerous storm. Visible satellite imagery really gives you an idea of the coverage area across the Gulf of Mexico right now. Massive storm size. I mean, it's about 300 miles across. The eye itself is about the size of San Antonio. If you were to look at Loop 410, the circumference is about the size of that eye. You can see some of these outer bands actually moving into the Texas coast. But what a difference from last night's satellite imagery. This infrared had most of the convection on the eastern side of the storm center. Now it gets that complete wrap, really maturing and getting that signature structure to a well-matured hurricane. Again, Category 4 status right now as it approaches the Gulf Coast, and it's moving north-northwest right now at about 50 the point. This video that you're about to see is evidence that that RFID chip is soon to come mandatorily. It's already here, but they're gonna they're about to make people get it mandatorily. And this video is gonna expressly show uh Revelations 13 and 16 on down, which I'm gonna read. Okay, and I was also watching a video, watching a video of uh Elder Apostle Tahar. He did a video called You Must Watch This, and uh, the UN basically declared uh, uh, uh um, the New World Order, the beginning of the New World Order. Okay, and they got Jaffet singing, looking all bugged out. All right, but this video that you're about to see is going to expressly show Revelation 13 and 16. Right, and you see it right there. Place your right wrist or forehead near the center to get temperature reading before walking through. Now, most simple people will be like, oh, that's just for your temperature reading. This is something called gradualism, okay? Because wh where's the numbers at? Who's reading your temperature? But it's this, this thing is really showing you how they're gonna have people lined up with the chip in order to buy or purchase or be a part of the society, this new world order, you're going to have to go through things like this. She had a child. She put the child's hand up there. She put her own hand up there. Another Jake woman. She put her right hand up there. Where's the where's the where's the temperature reader at? It's supposed to go off if you if your temperature's high. You see? And be prepared for things like this to be all around the world, man. In your local areas, your neighborhoods. Look, man, we here. This is it. Ball game ball game all right quick scripture revelation 13 and 16 and he calls us all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads would it say would it say would it say right here would it say place your right place your right wrist or forehead near the center that right wrist gonna be at it's gonna place your hand place your forehead in order for you to purchase, in order for you to, to live in a society, man. Aaron Russo told everybody too, their, their, their ultimate goal is to chip everybody, man, so they can control everybody. This is it. Okay, hey, so with that, say Shalom and on. Almost due south, because it's slowly moving retrograde from uh, west to east, all the way in a big loop over into the east. I mean, you got me stuck. I mean, look at this. In the south at sunset.
nothing to see. Because the sky is like, I mean, the light is like refracted. There's like eight different layers of, of chemical and AI refraction in our skies. I mean, none of that moves. It doesn't shift. The moon is up there. It, this is just disgusting. It's really depressing. <laughs>